We are going to code today with GPT. We are going to build our own GPT and then get it to build a website for us just by giving it an image of a diagram that we want created. This is next level. If I would have told you a year ago we'd be building websites or having AI build us websites just for an image we're sending it, you'd be like, Tiff, you're off your rocker, you are, you're crazy. But now here we are. This example is pretty simple, submitting an image of a diagram that we created and then getting it to build us a static website. But when you really stop and think about these GPTs that you can customize, think about if you want to implement it with React, build a React app, or if you want it to be um, mobile responsive, anything you want. I feel like a, it's like a, what are those commercials? Anything you want, you can get only for $5.99. I, I don't know, that was weird. That was really weird, wasn't it? I get what I'm saying. It's gonna be really fun. Let's get coding or telling GPT to code for us. I think there are so many possibilities with these custom GPTs. I was really excited to dive in with them and start tinkering. Let's go do just that. Oh, and before I go, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech, coding, and career-related videos. All right, thanks everyone. Okay, one more thing before we start into this project. I wanted to share with you about a project that I've been working on for probably the last year now. I'm super excited to share with you about Takeoff. This is an online platform membership base that you can sign up for and it will give you access to the most incredible speakers that will talk to you about uh, career, mentorship, networking, how to learn faster and so much more. These speakers are all very knowledgeable. They are executives, c Sweet individuals have been in the industry, the tech industry, for a long time. I knew I had to create a place like this for you all because I get so many questions around growing your career or specializing in tech, and I wanted you to hear from the best of the best, experts in this area. Takeoff, I link down below. Uh, I hope to see you there. I'm, I've never been so excited about something to share with you and I hope you find it super valuable. There will be new speakers and also workshops such as resume building, coding, public speaking, all of these different skill sets will be in workshops and then also in talks. We just launched, so be one of the first early adopters. Go sign up to it today and I will see you there. Oh, also, we have a bunch of new features we're releasing soon. I'm sure I'm gonna get, people are gonna be like, Tiff, you're not supposed to tell about these features. We haven't released them yet. But you know, things like really, really big, unique discount codes, wonderful Slack community, online events. There's, it's just, it's just the beginning. So go be an early adopter, be ahead of the crowd. All right, thanks everyone. Now let's get into it. Okay, you can see on screen here, I am in ChatGPT, specifically in Create a New GPT. And as we covered already, we are going to be creating a custom GPT that will build websites from images we provide. So diagrams or sketches. I've been tinkering around with this. I've already built a GPT that does this. So this is my second time doing it for this video. And honestly, I mean, on one hand, I'm so impressed because you know, you're literally providing a PDF and it's building you that static website. But on the other hand, it's like, well, it's just a static website. Is it really a big deal? But when you think about this technology is the worst it will ever be. It continues to get smarter and smarter or improved, I should say, it's, it's not getting smarter. It's pretty wild when you really stop and think about it. So let's get into it today. We got to pause, we got the dogs, the dog's barking moment. Let's just get into it. That's my sign idea to just dive into things. All right, so for this, let's start off with explaining what we want to make. Make a software, why are we in capitals? We are not yelling. Make a software engineer who helps format my code and build me a website from diagrams I provide to it. This GPT, can make assumptions for the most part, but if there are big questions, please get it to ask me about it. I want the GPT to be um, mobile responsive, like put as much detail as you possibly can. Like think about it, you are telling I mean, you're telling technology what to do. We need to be so specific. So I want the GPT to be mobile responsive and create really good designs. Boom. All right, so now we wait. Okay, so now we have here, let's give your GPT a name. How about we called it, call it Code Craft? Yes, 
I like that name. It takes a long time to upload or think, I feel like, in between prompts, which it doesn't for chat GPT, but when we're building a GPT, I find it takes a long time to do so. Come on, generate profile picture. Okay, I like that profile picture. Let's go with that. Okay, let's define or refine the context a bit more. Are there any spe specific technologies, languages, and frameworks? So let's include HTML, CSS, and JavaScript if needed. We'll start out with the basics, but you can always change this to include really specific frameworks. What's going on here? Send message. Here we go. All right. Next, considering CodeCraft will also be assisting with website design, are there any specific design principles? I already said this, I don't know why it's asking me again. Color scheme, okay, yeah. Um, let's, you can choose. But make sure it is um, mobile responsive. Because that's something when I, when I used to work at, what company was it? Um, no, really all companies. That was probably, I remember I got assigned so many tickets for one company I worked at as a developer and they kept on asking me to make everything uh, mobile responsive, which is like, of course it is. But the website, massive website was designed not mobile responsive. I don't know how or why. So going and refactoring, that was so painful. So now using something like this in this situation would be incredible. Make sure your company allows you to use products like this. Obviously, that goes without saying. All right, now about the interaction. When CodeCraft needs clarification, how detailed do you want it to get? Okay. Okay. How would you like it to communicate? Should be strictly professional, friendly. It's very specific. But I notice it's kind of buggy. Like I'm pressing enter and it won't like uh, send it. All right, let's see here. I think what I could see happening too in the future with these GPTs is companies starting to create their own and allowing employees to work consistently with different GPTs. And what that would do is it would create a lot of consistency with code, best practices at that company, and also to ensure that everything really flows. It's the same wording, same structure, same kind of coding style. I mean, to me, it will really help with that, which has always been a big issue at companies. All right, great. CodeCraft will now have a friendly and supportive style. Would you like to give CodeCraft a try in the playground? Yes, I do. I want to test it out. All right, so here, where is it? Let me show you. I actually already drew. Can you guess what kind of website I already drew? I mean, obviously, obviously it's dog related. You know, I love my dogs. Where are you? Where is the website? I already uploaded it, so if you can't find, here we go. Okay, so you can see here, maybe you can't see, I don't know, but you can see on screen here, I have my website that we are going to take a photo of and upload to our GPT. Let's give it a try. So on the side here, let's go and upload. And I sent this yesterday, one second here. Where is this? I gotta turn up all of the brightness. Maybe it's in screenshots from yesterday. Here we go, okay. And then I'm gonna say, code me a static website that is mobile responsive. I don't think I need to say this because it's the GPT already knows to do this, but I'm just, you know, uh, mobile responsive and make it very colorful. Let's add some color, let's add some spice. I guess that's my new saying, add some spice into this. All right, let's see, let's see what you can do. Code craft. That's the name of the GPT. I'm not just coming up with this, okay? Okay. Okay, so to create a website based on the following, we'll need to create, uh, use HTML, CSS, and possibly a bit of JavaScript. All right, so let's see here. I think it's one of those things where you can train it to be very technical. Like for this demo I'm doing, it's mainly HTML and CSS we're going to really dive into. But imagine when you start bringing React into the mix or you start bringing uh, other frameworks, Angular into the mix, how powerful this could be, even if you're not using it to build 
full websites, full-fledged websites, the structure it gives you to start if you are a coder or someone who just has an idea and wants to put it uh, to real life, I mean, or bring it to real life. I mean, this is huge when you really stop and think about it. As a side note, very important, before you take any code, I feel like your mother, before you take any code from ChatGPT or online, make sure you know what it is doing because there have been cases where there are packages people are installing that they aren't as familiar with and in turn causes security issues. So just, a, just an FYI, but for this CSS, we're gonna be good here. It's really slow. I mean, it's funny how we think though it's so slow, but it's like, it's building a website from a photo I took. And I'm complaining that it's slow. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're getting into the HTML portion of it. For me, I would find this mostly helpful. I mean, it's just HTML, like it's kind of, that's kind of boring. But the CSS is someone who is not inherently good at because I don't enjoy doing CSS. I find this to be so useful. The amount of hours this would have saved me. I mean, it's, it's wild. It's really amazing. Okay, so now it's placing where the dog photos will go. Hmm, the one thing I noticed, I'm not sure how it's gonna play out, but the one thing I noticed is they didn't actually put source for the dog photo. So what's this gallery item? Let's see, maybe that's what it is. It's gonna attach to gallery item. Gallery item. Yeah, there's nowhere for the dog images. Gallery, maybe. Okay, add in for me the source for each dog photo. Can input real ones. Oh no, regenerate. No, are you doing it all over again? Oh my gosh, stop. Okay, now what we can do is let's put this code into VS Code and actually run it. Let's see what actually happens here. So I'm in VS Code, I have a new project and I created an index HTML file. Now I'm going to go back, copy the code. We had some technical difficulties, but we're here. And there we go, we can see we have our index HTML and we also have some places for the CSS and then also to the dog photos. I mean, it's, it's pretty basic, but I mean, for someone who's starting out their coding journey or maybe you're building something bigger, just think so big. Think about the possibilities with this. All right, next up, let's create a new folder. I uh, call this images and put in our dog images. Uh, this could be anything though, of course. Let's choose three, Dirty Harry, Mr. Muggs, and my sister's Corgi, um, whose name is Dudley. All right, so now let's update the sources for each of these here. Once again, this is super simple, but even too, it includes things like, you know, alt, uh, it includes making it mobile responsive. Like it does a good job of including the basics that sometimes programmers can forget, like the most, the simplest things. I mean, how long have you spent looking at you know different articles for silly things like how do I center a div? How do I make it responsive? Things that you're like, I am way too far in my coding career, in my developer career to be doing this right now. No, we don't have to. All right, let's see the final result. Oh, they look so cute. I'm biased, but they look cute. But it's, isn't that wild? Like, look how it was able to create this website for me. I mean, yes, it's very simple, it's static, but once again, just look how responsive it is. It's so good. And we could get so specific here with things like Bootstrap or um, different kind of frameworks. Like we could really make this very specific to different technologies. All right, I hope you enjoyed building that with me today. It was a fun, simple project, but just really wanted to share with you how to build a GPT that is really customizable and really enhances what you want or hits on what you want to build with. And it's still, it's still wild taking an image and then building a website. If you haven't already, make sure to go sign up for Takeoff, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone.